there, Butch Patrick here, and I'm with Tom Devlin, and we just completed a very successful uh, event at his wonderful Munster Museum here in Boulder City, Nevada. You know, it's funny, I'm very lucky to have been on the Munsters. It, it's one of those classic shows, family values, that is so dearly missed these days, and it's fun to see the families come in. But basically, the basic what I'm doing is I'm going across country, and I'm stopping along the way to see interesting people like Tom, who have gotten into the monster genre to a point where it's become a, um, a full-time job and it's what they do and uh, I'll be tuning in with a lot more people but right now we're in Boulder City, Nevada at Tom Devlin's Monster Museum and we're going to go for a quick tour. Let's go. I go, this is like walking through the front door of 1313 Mockingbird Lane, but better. So here at the Monster Museum we strive to preserve the art and history of practical effects in film and television starting from the silent film era moving all the way through modern horror. So let's uh, go see what you think. Oh, it's going to be kind of dark but it should work. Okay. Keep in mind guys, this is just a quick walk through a museum that's taken years and years and years to do on a phone and it's still really, really good. But in person, it's amazing. You know, Universal Monsters, where the Monsters was done, was the Monster Studio. Of course. I mean, so everything that the Monsters did, they, they tapped into the Universal Monster genre, which they did so well. And I think that's one of the successes of the show. Yeah. And one of the things we strive to, you know, most people know that uh, Boris Karloff played the Frankenstein monster, but not a lot of people know who Jack Pierce is, who created Frankenstein's monster, the Wolfman, the Mummy. He designed Dracula. And then, of course, he trained people like Bud Westmore, who came in and, and did the monster. Of course, my favorite of the classic Universal monsters would be uh, Uncle Cousin Gil. Gil. Uncle, Uncle Gil. Gil. And you know the reason that people ask me my favorite horror movie, I always say The Creature of the Black Lagoon, because I'll tell you why, to me, it was believable. I could imagine in the Amazon that there was something that could have come out of evolution that would be an amphibious type of creature. It, it, you know, I bought into it that this could happen. Yeah, yeah, and I, uh, I still think that creature suit today holds up. Now, Tom, how long have you been open here in Boulder? So I've been open in Boulder for five years, but Monsters have been my career for the last 20 years. So we picked up, left LA, moved to Boulder City, uh, which is the most idyllic town in America, in my opinion. And we, uh, we created this museum. George Romero, yep. come on, Mr. Mr. Pittsburgh. Yep, the creator of The Living Dead. You know, it's hard to pinpoint the first vampire story, the first werewolf story, but we know that George Romero created the first American zombie story. Is this Michael Berryman? That is Mr. Berryman. <laughs> I love Michael. That is from the life cast of a... I worked with him on two films, a movie called Ed Gein, the Butcher of Plainsfield, as well as a movie called The Evil Within. The, the Hills Have Eyes. Yeah. Every time I see my sister drive, she looks over the mountains. It's good. Hills Have Eyes. Go ahead. And they sure you do. Some of your more recent classic killers and yeah, of horrors. Course. We have uh, Mike, Michael Myers. we got Leatherface back here. We're going to come up on Jason Voorhees and Freddy in a second. Anyway, people love Halloween. People love Monster Museums. I'm going to be tuning in with more of them. I tell you what, I'm starting here to set the bar pretty high at this one. So hopefully, we'll bring you some more stuff that might even top Mr. Devlin's, but I don't think so. Hey, Tom, thanks for having me out. Yeah, man, it was a pleasure. We are huge fans, and, you know, it, to have you here, it was really like having film and television history in the museum.